It's toy haul time. It's toy haul time. We do hunt toys. Hey everyone, it's um a toy haul day. I'm trying to make it look nice. I don't Ghostbuster house back there is not looking nice. I don't know how the Ghostbuster firehouse can not look nice though. Not liking my shirt, not liking my hair, but you just do these things here. I'll put myself at a good angle. Get myself in the light, get the toys in the light. Okay, here we go. It's a big toy haul. I remember the last time I said that, oh, there's another toy that I just bought. Let's start with that one. I remember last time I said that it was gonna be my last toy haul. I say that a lot. I'm not gonna say that this time, but I hope it is. No, I actually just ordered some stuff. There was a fantastic memorial sale with Fisher Price and Mattel. Their new shopping cart experience is amazing. You can combine your purchases from Mattel and Fisher Price and you can use the same discount codes. It was an incredible experience. I'll talk about that more in that upcoming Mattel haul online order Mattel haul. I'll just get cracking at Showcase in Canada. This Paw Patrol Rubble, which is so cute, $5. You can get these for $15 normally, but that's a good price. There's more in the set. It kind of makes me want to get the whole series in this size. I think he's my favorite. It's hard to choose a favorite, but he's definitely the cutest. If not my favorite, my ears are poking out. Look like Baby New Year. I don't want to look like that either. This hat might not be the right choice. But I've already started, so we're going to commit to it. That's better. Five dollars. Whoa, there was something else in that. I guess I can do this. I bought this yesterday, too. It is a bell for my bicycle. It was at the dollar store for three dollars. Let's see if we can make it ring. It's old-fashioned like my bicycle, so... That means I have to take off my honky-honky horn, though. So... Oh, my nose itches. I just had to... Oh, oh, I just lost all my job. Toys. Oh my god, toys, are you okay? Okay, that box I should probably save till last. Rebel, we're gonna stick you back here, because you're already done. Don't look. Don't look. Here's from a secondhand store. Already have this guy. The one that I have was also secondhand. He is in excellent condition, and for some reason, the one that I have, I don't know what I did with him, but he had this huge black mark that I couldn't take off his face. Oh, man, the clothes are still stitched on. And he comes with this glove, which I think only comes with some sets. All of the stuff is like, never been removed. Stitched on awesomeness. He's got some black on him too. Maybe he's just prone to getting black marks on him. On the side of his face too. I really like Heath. I don't like this jacket though. I would not wear that. I would not wear these shoes. I like things a little simple. I don't like those patterns. At an off price store, I found these Tube Heroes, ones that we never got in Canada, but the off price tends to get things from other countries, so we get to see great toys. Yeah, see, these are only in English. That is why we would not get them in our stores. So good, really good ones. This guy's eyes. Crazy. Huge fan of the scale at the Dollarama. I have been putting these off, but I keep looking at them and I decided that, that these are way too cute not to get for $3 each. This one comes with a sewing machine and two little buddies. And we got this pink one and she's got some purses. We got this one, looks like a cookie, a gem cloud cookie something or other. Really cute, comes with gems. And then we got this butterfly one and she comes with little friends. Tamagotchis, cute, very cute. Three dollars, I got the whole set. Also at the dollar store for four dollars. They have these two Zootopia figures. Big Tommy toys. I just found out the real pronunciation of Tommy, which I used to call it, but it's Tommy. There they are. These are great, especially for four dollars. Never saw those in stores in Canada. Another one of these zombie figures that was discounted to nothing because the card fell off of it. They did a really bad tape up job, but it doesn't really matter. If I'm gonna get these for two dollars, then maybe 
one day I'll complete my whole set for a very minimal price. I got some slime at the hardware store, great hardware store that sometimes has toys. I found this at an off-price store. I have never seen this set. I was very surprised because I usually see the same old sets. We have an old man Han Solo. In the cartoon, he doesn't look that old. And I don't know who that other guy is. The Happy Places second season is going on sale at Showcase. So much stuff is really, really cheap, but I decided not to get the furniture sets. Maybe if they go really, really cheap, I might pick them up. They're $6 right now, which is really good. But I've decided to make judgments and decide what not to get and what to get. The figures that I got the week before which were six dollars are now down to four for series one and series two so that's kind of upsetting that i paid six for them but at least i have all of them next i got another playmobil set from ghostbusters i thought this was important i now have the two sets that i want the most it's good to have sigourney weaver and the dogs are very important first time in canada canada got series one and the states got series two i don't know why but Finally, Canada got Series 2. I'm happy to get a whole set. I found them at Walmart in Canada. This is a must-have for me, the minifigures from Imaginext. They're just so awesome and interesting. Fisher Price, Mattel does an excellent job. At a store called Toys, Toys, Toys in Canada, it's an Ontario chain. They had these second series of Dory, which I had already found a single pack at Treasure Hunt in Mississauga, Canada. But I was quite surprised to see at Toys, 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 because I haven't seen these in any other stores. The rest of Series 2, I did Series 1 of these. I really like them. These figures are made really well, really cute. A little late to find Dory. Yeah, and they were like marked down to $2 each. I have a few of these Super 4 figures from Playmobil. I never saw this Netflix show or know anything about it, but because I have some already and I kind of think that the characters look interesting and these were $2.50 each, I thought I would pick them up as well. At the dollar store, I found this book for $2. It is a Monster High Makeup and Activities. It's got cool little stand-up paper dolls inside, which is kind of cool. And it's got lots of activities, but the thing about this one is that we've got Ari in it, but there's also Gulia. Gulia and Ari together. What does that mean? Gulia's coming, guys. Look, there she is. Really cute. Lots of fun activities. Hours of entertainment in here. I really like these. Those are awesome. There's Gulia again. Skeleta, more Ari. Let's see if I can find a Spectra and an Ari together. There's Spectra, right? Spectra, that's really cool art there. Really cool book. Okay, let's move on to the dolls that I got. They had half price off of all Monster High dolls. So there were a few that I've been waiting to get for some time. They had the roller derby ones, whatever the name of this is. Hopefully I have all of the single pack ones. I don't know, maybe those all come in single packs, but I got three of them. Hopefully one of them's a two pack and hopefully I'm not missing. So yeah, I got Abby, an Operetta, and Frankie. And then I got this 113 Wishes Frankie. This is my first deluxe 13 Wishes. Really cool. Ironically, Cleo went on sale. They had some showed up at Walmart in Canada online, but I missed it. I just see that she was there at one point. What else did I get? I got a picture day. These were all half price, so around $10 or less. An operetta picture day, which I thought I had this one, so it's so funny. I could have gotten this one many times, but I kept not getting it. But I had just gone through everything I had and realized that I didn't have that one. And here is another one that I wasn't sure if I had or not. It's a problem with collecting too much. And they also had Ghoul's Night Out Spectrum, and I thought I had that one, but now I know that I don't. Hopefully, it is still there tomorrow when I go. So I got that Rochelle, and I got this Rochelle from Scarus. That means I am missing just the Genifier. I think that was Genifier's first appearance, so I would really like to get that Genifier because she's the only one I'm missing now from 
this Deluxe Scaris Edition. And then I got two sets, even though they had another set. They had the bathtub set, but I got the shower set for $10. And the scooter was a bit more because it was $23, so whatever half of $23 is. So nice. Yeah, this was the most expensive thing. And I got two parcels. And I'm gonna open those in the video after this one. So we're gonna see those really soon. So that's my stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Oh, nose itches.